Right, welcome back. In the last session, we completed our Postgres Helm deployment, right? We were able to iterate through a lot of key and value pair. We were able to variabilize our config map and all of the code is now pushed to the GitHub repository. You can go ahead and clone onto your local system and start using it as well. Now this, uh, the tale doesn't end over here. We got to also extend our skill and understand a bit about CI CD pipeline as well, right? In this session, I'm really excited to talk about a CI CD platform called as Azure DevOps. This is a proprietorship product, paid product from Azure. However, you could use the trial version as well. This would be pretty similar to any of the CI CD platform, could be GitHub, Jenkins, uh, Bitbucket, GitLab, um, or, or could be any other CI CD as well. So I'm preferring Azure DevOps. What I intend to do is the whole workflow for CI CD is going to remain same whether you use GitHub, uh, GitLab, or Azure DevOps or Jenkins, doesn't matter. All right, the, the workflow going to remain same. So in Azure DevOps, you've got multiple projects. So you can start creating a different projects and underneath each project, uh, underneath each organization, you would have a different project. So these are the three organization I've got. I can start creating another organization also, uh, go ahead and start creating it. I don't want to do that uh, because I have already got three. So underneath each organization, now this could be like your DevOps organization, could be marketing, could be different clients also, right? And then you could have different projects underneath each organization. Under the DevOps channel limited, we've got three different uh, projects. I'm going to use the Agile project. So this is a one-stop shop tool to have uh, CI, CD, your Kanban borders to follow the Agile methodologies as well to track the end-to-end -end life cycle of your project. So I'm going to the Agile project and uh, if you go to the repos, I've got many repos over here. All right, so I've got Agile project, Jumpstart and whatnot. What I'm going to do is I am going to create a new repositories or probably uh, do an import repository. So I'm going to import my GitHub repo to this one. All right. So what it does it is ask for the URL. So I'm going to go ahead over here, go to the Helm chart and copy the URL, come back to the Azure DevOps. And yeah, that's about it. If you click on the import, you will see that the entire code will now be migrated from GitHub to Azure DevOps so that you can start setting up the CI CD platform. This is a very base. We're not going to do any actual CI CD in this session. It's going to happen a little while after. But yeah, this is as you can see that the code, same code has now been pushed into Azure DevOps. Also, if you go to the Postgres, you will have all the charts and YAML, which is necessary. All right. And now you can start deploying it. So this is the first step. Now the second step in the next session, we're going to start uh, creating a Kubernetes cluster. We're going to do that on actual environment. I've already got my Azure trial account spent up. You can go ahead and do that as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do is in the next session, I haven't got any Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to create it right in front of you. And then we're going to use the same cluster to perform the CI CD using Azure DevOps. So the entire flow workflow is migration from your code from GitHub to Azure DevOps and then running the CI CD platform onto Azure Kubernetes service. Now this could be anything on for your system. For your could be EKS running on Amazon, GK running on Google, uh, or EKS running on Azure. Um, but the entire workflow remains same, doesn't matter which tool or tech stack you're using. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in a while. Thank you.